Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Today you got a requested program from the internet about woodpecker houses. Uh, they, you know, would, for when you first think about it, you would go, well, why would a woodpecker need a, a man-made birdhouse? Because they're the construction workers of the forest and they drill their own homes. Well, there are lots of cases where uh, trees, uh, old trees get blown down, a big limb that they were nesting in breaks off of a tree, falls to the forest floor, and so their habitat does get uh, destroyed. And if, you know, you live in a neighborhood where um, a lot of the dead trees, because woodpeckers have to drill in dead t uh, limbs, dead, dead trunks of trees, things they, they can't drill in live trees. I know there's one exception um, for you guys live in the southeast with the red cockaded woodpecker, but Woodpeckers as a whole have to drill in dead wood, and people don't like dead trees because uh, they fall over and they may land on their car or hit their house and things like that. So they cut down the dead trees, which takes away the potential nesting sites for woodpeckers. So some people do like to add uh, woodpecker uh, artificial nest boxes to try to help them out. Now, they, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go into huge detail here, but we're going to talk about the type of houses and some things you can do to try to increase your chances of getting woodpeckers to use them you know, if it's something you want to shoot for. Now, on the screen, we have the, the pileated woodpecker, who is the largest of woodpeckers in North America, and uh, so his box would obviously need to be uh, quite large. And one of the things about their boxes and their cavities, they drill in trees, and you know, this is what we're talking about doing. All you're doing is imitating nature, and that is uh, like a pileated drills an oblong hole like this, and they're like four inches. So that's the biggest hole of all the woodpeckers that you're going to need. But one thing I want you to notice that, uh, consistently from all of these boxes I go through here is they tend to be longer than most nest boxes, like bluebird boxes and wren houses, obviously. But woodpeckers like longer uh, houses and a little bit deeper. And also, you got to remember, uh, woodpeckers don't typically bring in nesting material into their boxes like a bluebird does, brings in the grass and sticks for the wren and things like that. So these woodpecker houses generally, you're going to want to put two to three inches of a sawdust or wood shavings in the bottom of it because um, they'll lay their eggs right on the bottom of the nest box. And the other thing that's a little bit different between uh, you know traditionally blue bird houses and, and other houses is these need to be mounted higher if you possibly can. Um, they, they, most of the recommendations you'll see are 10 to 20 feet in the air. So uh, a lot of people will attach them directly to trees. Um, I know they, it, it's much harder. You can't put predator guards on trees and, and, and it, with any practicality. Nor, I mean, Mother Nature doesn't put predator guards on trees that uh, the woodpeckers drill their natural cavities in. Um, so, uh, you know, putting them on a tree for woodpeckers is a pretty good idea. You know, getting a 20-foot pole to put them out a, a, a woodpecker house on is not practical for a lot of people. Plus, they're much harder to maintain. You know, we talk about uh, the four and a half feet for a bluebird house. That's so you can uh, maintain it and, and, and change the tear out the nesting material and, and the, so she'll build a new nest in there. But for a woodpecker, you know, once you put a, a birdhouse 20 feet in the air, you're usually not going to uh, check it regularly, maybe once a year. So couple of things about woodpeckers um, houses like that and I know another instance that people use uh, put woodpecker houses up is when they have a woodpecker that's drumming on their house maybe drilling uh, uh, cavity holes or trying to drill cavity holes I've actually had people put a woodpecker house on the side of their house to try to get the woodpecker to use that rather than hitting on their house now uh, not a lot of people are going to do that, but that's one of the reasons why people use them. So a big house like this, this is a Pileated Woodpecker. What other woodpeckers do we have that might use them? Um, this box is kind of the catch-all box. Uh, this is a two-inch opening on this hole, and there's uh, three different woodpeckers that will utilize a hole this size. Um, there's the red-headed woodpecker and the hairy woodpecker. We use a two inch hole and also a red bellied woodpecker will also use a, a house that size. So uh, again, the rule of thumb is getting it up higher uh, up in the tree and make sure you, you use that, um, the nesting material, the wood shavings in there in the back. Oh, I've got a picture of the wood shavings here. These are just uh, cedar shavings uh, that go in the bottom, or, and, and pine are the, the, the two that are the most commonly used um, in woodpecker holes, but they will, they will use both, not like some birds. Now, the bigger house, another bigger house would be for the flicker. 
and the yellow shafted flicker. And I have seen uh, cases where yellow shafted flickers, uh, they, they drill a hole in a, in a snag, they're ready to move in, and starlings come along and run them out of it right away. They, they just gang up on them. Uh, but their houses are a little bit larger, uh, a, a good a good two and a half inch hole rather than the two inch hole of the red bellied woodpecker house. So there are ways to do it. Um, you know, the most common woodpecker uh, that we have are, are the downy woodpeckers, and they will nest in a bluebird box. That is, that's happened. But preference wise, they like a box that's a little bit longer than a traditional bluebird box. So um, if you wanted to make it more specific for the downy woodpecker, then you would want to uh, make uh, them a little bit longer than just a traditional bluebird box. So uh, woodpe woodpecker uh, nest boxes can be successful. Um, they are not the most traditional nest boxes. Bluebirds and wrens are, are far more common. Uh, there are a lot of birds, it's like 60 birds or so in North America that are cavity nesters that you can attract or, or get to use man-made structures. But that's the topic that the question was about woodpecker boxes. So here are a few things and tips to try to uh, make those uh, more successful and it's a great idea for a program send in ideas for future programs give us a like give us a share if you would if you're on youtube please subscribe until then come on let's talk birds